Hello everybody, my name is Sam Cham and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. In the last episode, we talked to Thrash a lot and he told us to go get the Pendant of Courage. Well, we are pretty much right next to it, though I, well, we're in the area, and I, though I can't really figure out how to get in around this area all the time. Even though I've only played this game once, yes. I played it on Christmas, and I played it straight the whole day. I, well, I had the Super Nintendo was on the whole time, but obviously I took breaks to go to the bathroom or eat. That's really about it. Uh, yeah, so we're going to make our way over there to the first dungeon. So in the last episode, um, I was talking about... Uh, my capture card, which was the easy cap capture card that I got for Christmas, and it came a day late. But one thing, what a fucking pain in the ass. I have spent literally probably a good four hours just trying to get this shit to work. And, um, to do. I is supposed to come with a video uh, editor, which it didn't. Um, so that kind of peeved me a little. And then it's also it's called Easy Cap because you're supposed to know it's supposed to be easy for you to know how to use it. For me, not so much. So then I finally got it working. Oh, no, nothing's in that room. Let's check the one on the very right. Um. Then it came with a uh, USB. Dang it! it! Came with a USB extension. So I had to go to my computer, and it stretched to my TV. Well, when I put the use the USB extension, it wouldn't recognize the capture card. So what I ended up having to do is put a get a chair, bring my big ass computer, set it right on the chair. So it could reach the the TV. Oh god, damn it, damn it, damn it! So it could reach the TV, and then I got to work. So basically, I had a chair with a computer, and then r like right the fuck next to uh, TV. So here's the second or the second dungeon, the first dungeon. I like the music in the dungeon in this game. It's a lot better than the first game. And in the uh, after you do the first three dungeons of this game, you there's seven more. But I don't like the music in that one. It's kind of monotone. This one has that kind of thing. But the um, other one is just like. I can't remember what it's like. Well, just to tell you, it's monotone. I, I can't remember off the top. Off the top. What am I even saying today? I should just stop talking. No, we need to have a Sam Chan episode where I don't talk at all. You, you think you would like that? You think you would like that? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I mean, crap, man. I'm the doctor, but I think that I've already said that in my, this let's play. Jeez, run out of material. It's only my second let's play. Well, that's bad. I'm pretty sure in here is the map. On the map, 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 on the map. You can see here that you can actually see the map in the dungeons, unlike on the overworld, which is so BS. So, I had two Super Nintendos, and I had one that worked, which is not this one, and I had one that did work. And so, uh, me Madre was moving crap around our house, and she put the good Super Nintendo into a paper bag, and then moved it to a box, next to a box, which she was getting rid of to Goodwill. And then she said, told my brother, take this box of crap and take it to Goodwill. Well, my brother took the box and the bag with Super Nintendo in it to the Goodwill. So, we spent a uh, good week 
going to like every goodwill in the area and shit trying to find it and we went to the one like there's a whole process and it makes a lot of sense but let's just say it was crap time and uh, they said they didn't have it uh, apparently so if you get like a computer or something to uh, uh, goodwill they will send it to eBay like a goodwill eBay site it was literally eBay, and they sent it there. Well, apparently the shipment, which our Super Nintendo was supposed to be on, hold on. Uh, you can use the treasure hidden in this palace to defeat armored foes. I wonder what the treasure is. Uh, nothing down there. So what I was saying was, um, oh, one more thing, Jesus Christ. Uh, you can talk to, have you ever seen one of those white things? Just go up to it, hit A. You can talk to someone, usually a Zelda or a Sarashula. So what I was saying was, there's an eBay site in the truck, which was supposed to send the thing, Super Nintendo, to the place where they distributed and put on the eBay thing. It never came. So I'm guessing someone took it when they weren't supposed to. So now I just have my crap Super Nintendo. And yeah, and that's why uh, you can't see that. Uh, I guarantee you, on the other Super Nintendo, you could have saw the more than that. Uh, one thing, if I ever do a Super Mario World Let's Play, it's gonna be hard mode because on this Super Nintendo, you can't see any of the bosses. Every single one's fucked up somehow. Uh, the other Super Nintendo, everything worked peach keen. So yeah, so I've I've beaten that game twice, and I should get a medal or something. I mean, beating the game without seeing any of the bosses, like Bowser. Nope, you know you can't see his clown car or anything. Um, the first boss you can see him, but uh, the floor is gone. It's like a little platform, and you have to like balance on it and knock whoever the coupling is off of it. It's just wonderful. It's gone turbo. Anyone see that movie? No? Yes? Good for you if you saw it. It was, it was pretty good. Richard Ralph is a, it's a good movie. I like how I always say, you get that reference, good for you, and then I'll say what that reference was. Uh. Oh, no, don't. Anti fairs. And what do we have? The big key! You got the big key. This is Master Key of the Dungeon. It can open many locks as small keys can. I like this door. So this puzzle so hard. I mean, I don't know how anyone could have figured that shit out. Like, damn. So see those like little pot-looking things over there? Uh, something interesting about that. But first, kill the Stalfo and get the da 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 a bow. So you can shoot arrow. It's bow. So these little pot things. If you fall down it, nah, come on, Staffo f heads, Staffo faces. <laughs> Sounds better. Uh, there's the little fairies. And the net, what you can do is you can catch them and keep them in a bottle. And uh, when you catch or keep them in a bottle, uh, when you die, they will give you seven hearts back. So for a while, it's really good because you're getting your whole life back. And so, yeah. So you can keep up the four, well, depending on how many bottles you have. And that's, that is good. Oh yeah, that uh, fly net, you can catch fairies with it, and you can also catch bees, and the bees will attack an enemy. Um, and you also, when you fight Agnum at one point, you can actually use that to hit stuff back at him instead of your sword. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a glitch. But, uh, yeah, oh god, don't hit me, don't hit me. So the trick to these things is just hitting them with an arrow. Within the eye. In the eye. I remember one time when I was a kid, uh, before I had classes, there was this tree, and I literally looked up at it and shook the branches, and whatever like tree particles fell off it went into my eyes. Worst idea I ever had. But I was like seven at the time. Stupid seven-year-olds. Oh, just money. It's gas. Dun, 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 dun. 
I don't know the lyrics hat song. I don't know many Pink Floyd songs. Surprisingly. I, I mean, I like old music. It, that one is weird how... I don't know many Pink Floyd songs. It's weird because... I like old music, but I have no clue what any of the songs are, to be honest. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Billy Joel, who's that? <laughs> like, I don't know. Uh, did, who's another? Joel? Why did Joel Olstein come to mind? He's not even... Joel Olstein, he's a priest. What is my mind on right now? Let's see, what is it, 11 at night? Yeah, that's probably what it is. I, I've been up since about 11. So I've been up for about 12 hours. So, getting decent, decent amount of sleep. I usually sleep for like, yeah, 10 hours. I used to sleep for like 10 hours, and now it's kinda like, wait, no, I used to sleep for 12 hours, and now it's like 10. And here, in this room, we have Oh, no. Not the boss? Okay, next room. Next room, there's the boss. I, uh, my apologies. Uh, I apologize. I genuinely do. Just get some ammo and other crap. And trick to these, just shoot him in the eye a couple times, like before. And, I mean, this kind of hint to how the bosses work, or the boss works in this level. Just shoot arrows at it. And here we have the boss, so just get over to the right here and just spam your arrows on him. Like so. Do, 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 do. Just hit him. Hit, hit, hit them. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta hit them. This, this one's a bit different. Um, I th a good thing to do is hold B. I think you can kill him like that. Maybe not. On some, you have to kill him a certain way, you can't kill him with your sword. This might be an example. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you can't. I don't think so. And that's the boss. And we get the Pendant of Courage. That's Mario music. Not Zelda music. And we're gonna stand there. You won the Pendant of Courage. Take it to Srashal. Yay! So, in the next episode, we'll take that Sarashla. Goodbye, and have a wonderful night. See ya.